Well, there's two different worries that we can describe the weather that we saw today here in South Carolina, cloudy and rainy, all thanks to this massive stationary front that has brought, I mean, lots, lots of showers to everywhere, especially across the border of Georgia and South Carolina into Florence, some very heavy rain just finally coming to an end. But right along here along the media coast, we've been pretty much dry all throughout the course of the day today. As you head overnight tonight, we're still holding on to that chance for a scattered shower and or storm. Temperatures everywhere you look in the low 70s. Now, considering the front is a stationary front, it will be with us throughout the, uh, throughout the day tomorrow. Scattered showers and storms everywhere you look is definitely likely all the way throughout the course of the day tomorrow and even into the weekend as well. And a very strong range of high pressure is gonna build just to the west of Bermuda. And as we get a southerly flow coming out of the Gulf of Mexico, that will enhance the, the chance for some scattered showers and our storms all the way throughout the weekend and even into early next week as well. Here's a look at your future cast for your Wednesday. Scattered showers and storms everywhere you look as you are heading out the door. And those showers and storms will linger until about noon. But you'll notice as you head deeper into, into the afternoon, those scattered showers and storms really begin to wind down as you head towards five and six o'clock tomorrow morning, excuse me, five and six o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So it wouldn't be a terrible idea to have that rain jacket or an umbrella on hand throughout the early, uh, throughout the morning and also the early afternoon. But you can pretty much put that away as you head towards six and seven o'clock in the afternoon. Taking an hour by hour look for your Wednesday. Temperatures starting off in the low to mid 70s for your morning rush. Afternoon highs topping out in the low to mid 80s and those 80s will stay with us all the way into 6 to 8 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. Here's your uh, daily rain chances over the next uh, seven days. Our best shot of rain will be uh, tomorrow. There's gonna be a little bit more dry air coming in behind the front and that's why we, uh, we bumped those rain chances down to a 20% chance for your Thursday. But because of that area of high pressure, we're gonna be in the. Uh, we're gonna have a, at least a 30 to 40 percent chance of rain all the way throughout the weekend and even into early next week as well. Taking a look at the tropics, the National Hurricane Center is currently investigating potential tropical cyclone two about to enter the Eastern Caribbean. Earlier today, the National Hurricane Hunters did fly through this storm and they did find tropical storm force winds. However, there's still not a closed, defined center of circulation within this storm, and because of that one main reason, this thing is not a tropical storm just yet. However, here's the latest forecast coming. You can see as you head at least until tomorrow afternoon, you will likely be seeing tropical storm Bonnie. All this westward motion is thanks to a very strong range of high pressure that's going to be dominating the whole entire southeastern region. And not to mention, considering how warm the waters currently are in the southern Caribbean, we could be looking at our first hurricane forming come Friday afternoon before it makes landfall on Nicaragua. Bottom line, this thing is going to be staying very, very, very far away. The United States, not a threat to the United States at all. And really, the only other two areas that I'm watching in the tropics is a very decent size um, area of convection that is currently in the northwestern Gulf. They're only giving it about a 40% chance of development. If it does uh, impact anywhere, it'll be in Texas. And then we also have this another area of convection that only has a 20% chance of forming over the next five days. So bottom line, there's not a single thing to worry about in the tropics here in the Carolinas. Here's your 10-day outlook along the Grand Strand. Once again, our best shot of rain will come tomorrow. Some drier air will work its way into our area for your Thursday, bumping those rain chances down to a 20% chance. But all thanks to the area of high pressure, our rain chances bump up towards the end of this weekend and then eventually into your weekend as well. And those rain chances stay with us all the way until the end of next, of, of, uh, next week, I should say. Afternoon highs topping out in the mid-80s every single day. Here's your forecast, England. Best chance of rain for is for your Wednesday. There's that, uh, there's that dry air coming in for your Thursday. Afternoon highs topping out in the mid to high 80s, and those rain chances stay with us all the way throughout next weekend. Keep it here at Liam's Weather for all the latest information.